You're tuning in to Past Hour Prime, a show powered by Squad Locker. Let's be great. Let's be great. Here are your hosts, retired Astros minor league star Tip Fairchild and former Patriots All-Pro center Dan Copin. Go rock this thing, huh? Love you, man. Go get it. Ready to go? How you doing, Dan? I'm doing great. Do you know what episode it is? It is 65 because I just looked. Uh, As always, powered by Squad Locker. Your mm-hmm. one-stop shop for custom decorated apparel. And we do everything now. We do sports organizations, we do high schools, and now we're doing corporations, tournaments, everything. Lead flow is off the charts in here right now. You're building building the machine. <laughs> Lead flow Keep is off the charts. Keep the feeding mar- it. This marketing group is, <laughs> is killing me. Yeah, they're right doing hey, they're doing their well, job. They're doing their job, that's for sure. I love I love the lead flow. It feels good. Um, um, I was gonna start this with a. That's not very good. <laughs> Hang on. That's not very good. <laughs> it sucked. <laughs> I figured we can't I, play the Masters theme because we'll probably get YouTube banned. I'm sure you will. So I just nailed it. It is the week. I did the through the teeth there instead of... Get, you're are whistle, you a good whistler? I'm not, not a good whistler at all. I got that one. I got that... <laughs> I'm more more air. I can do the loud whistle too. I can do the loud whistle. You do use your fingers or do you two fingers? Really? Two hands. I can't do one. I, I wish I could any. do one. Two oh you do the thing. You do this one. Yeah. That yeah. one. Yeah. Lean back, let it rip. That wasn't very good. Okay. Hang on. You ready for mine? <laughs> oh that's now I'm on. Hold on. What? You got George looking. <laughs> George Oh, nice. That, that was good everyone. One. That was a good one. All right. I nice. couldn't do it. Uh, we had the whole I couldn't do it looking. forever. And then I had kids. It's so nice. I Just, wanted to be able to do it, so it took yeah. me a while to practice. So it's like, hey, if you're in the woods or if you're down the street, if you hear this, yeah. just come home. I That's remember. <laughs> I learned in my. I, I remember just driving with my dad when I was a young kid. He's going to remember this. He's going to laugh at this story. And I used to just constantly try to figure out how to do this. Right. And, I mean, constantly. Every time we were in the car, and I'd figure it out, figure it out, and then I finally got it. <laughs> yeah, it's... And he, like, couldn't... It's like a he, stupid, And you can't explain it to anybody. No, it's a stupid thing, and you want to learn how to do it. And once you figure it out, it's like yeah. riding a bike. You don't... You never forget. forget. But so, then if somebody's like, hey, how do you do that? What are you supposed to do? Yeah, do this. You <laughs> There's no way to explain it. You're yeah. Right. They were... Um, we were... It was Little League, and I was... Shit, seven, eight, nine years old. Mm-hmm. Um, don't even remember. But the thing was, you know, when you put a piece of grass like between oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. your you, fingers, yeah, you do the thing, and it you wasn't blow. really like the finger yeah. thing. It's almost like a, I mean, yeah, like, a, like a like vibrating a vibrating back. No, and it's, forth. Yeah, yeah, it just wiggles. But and it's it'd loud. be like this. You know, and you, yeah, I'd sit there. <laughs> like that, it was like a bird call or uh, something. It took me all season to figure. Uh, out. Can you do cool. that? No, uh, no, I can do. I can do a loon. Yeah, a loon. All right. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, I can't do it that way. So, no, you gotta. I go. I can't, can you do it, Max? <laughs> I can do just. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't okay, that that's how they do just it? stupid. <laughs> Um, all right. Good start to the show. Yeah, hey. Uh, just stupid. Good start to the show today. St- stupid human tricks. Yeah, absolutely. So let us know your stupid human tricks. and we'll, Yeah, we let us try. know your stupid sound. Do you have any crazy sounds that you can make, Max? Oh, no. You're not a sound guy at all. No, I, I could barely whistle. I was going to say, yeah. this would be that would be great to have Dan or you teach me how to whistle, do that whistle. No, no, yeah, but you, how, do you, how, how, well, how do you position your It's one of those tongue. things. You can't, it's, I can't explain it. I, I, I go like <laughs> tight lips and then like. I just hope I don't look I just, like you when I do. No, yeah. I blow the I blow the air under my tongue, through my, through my between my tongue and my bottom teeth. Yeah, I, w- I wish I could whistle good, like a loud like whistle. I can do it, which is fine, but yeah, like um like an artist or whatever, like like a oh like actually like like you're whistling in a song or something yeah. like that. Yeah. And it just like comes out perfect. I have dry chapped weird, lips all the time. So it's a fun gonna, it's a fun little thing. I can't like get the the. The, the lip uh, moisture, <laughs> correct. He's just going to start spitting everywhere. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, Kansas, I mean, it's Masters Week, so that's Can, no, what, like, that's kind of what... Well, that's what's coming. What's coming, and we'll we talk about We got a lot to talk that. about. Um, but last night, uh, the NCAA mm-hmm. uh, final, 
The road's over. The road's done. Can- Kansas. 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 You're right. Kansas. Kansas. <laughs> with a great comeback over UNC, takes mm-hmm. home the crown. Um, I actually didn't watch it. I did, and the odds makers I was are out. so remarkably good. They're so <laughs> remarkably good. It's like, so the line was four. Uh, Kansas was giving four. So I'm like, man, you know, this North Carolina thing, and I like North Carolina. And I bet I was betting on them, and I was hitting all these prop bets, and it was great. But I'm like, this is Kansas. This is time. And I kind of well, wanted them to win because they beat Providence, too. That, I agree. You know, But the other thing was, I think, and I saw – Couple tweets go out uh, in the afternoon mm-hmm. before the game, and it was Kansas by like a million. Like everybody's yeah. like, "Hey, I'm loading up on Kansas well, right and now." Everybody, and I think it was, "What's Baycock going to do?" Exactly. You know, nobody knew. Yeah, well, he wasn't on any any prop bet lines until right. like noon. Is he going to be playing, or yeah. is he not going to be playing? If he's not playing, yeah. obviously the clear favorite then goes to Kansas, yeah. and I think that would have. You know that that probably influenced your bet there. A oh, it did. Bit. No, it did. And and McCormick, who played with a giant <laughs> set of nuts <laughs> against uh, who they beat. Who they beat again? I can't remember. You and Duke. Duke? No. Oh no! Uh, oh, Villanova. 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 You know, I mean, yeah. he looked so good against them. He was so soft in the first half. I know, and I don't have the proof of this, but I know what that what that halftime speech was by Bill Self. Okay. I know Go for what it. it was. Go for it. What was it? Kansas was playing so soft in that first half, and their big men were getting abused. I mean, block shots, out-rebounded, like no points in the paint. They were just – UNC was beating them up in the paint. And if you notice what happened in the, in the ha- at halftime, halftime goes, I know Bill Self was in there, and he was <laughs> – I know him personally. He was in McCormick and Lightfoot's face, and I guarantee you he was questioning them. About their intestinal fortitude, do you? I mean, and other things. He was in their face. I guarantee it. And when they came out, what was the first play? Ten seconds in, alley oop to McCormick, and I thought he was going to break the whole entire hoop. That thing that I, I saw, I it saw, shifted. Uh, yeah. Like the I hoop saw the highlight. Shifted. It was it was badass. And then from there on, it was like, all right, you want to you want to go body shots here? Like we're here to fight. I don't. I don't. From everything that I heard, that halftime was pretty chill. So I don't. Oh, did you you have insider info on no, that? No, they came out today. It's like, hey, how was halftime or whatever? Oh, Reading really? articles and all this stuff is like yeah. everything was upbeat, positive. It's like, hey, we <sighs> didn't play very good. We I get just a need. We just need to keep grinding, and we're we're okay. I get a feeling he pulled them aside. I don't said, think so because they're down fifteen goddamn points. I know, but like if they're you big go men after non-existent, I know. But if you go after a kid, I'm just saying, if you're yeah. down big. You got nothing to lose at this point. You as a coach, as a head? coach, I don't think you go in there and you beat up on them anymore. Oh, I think you beat. I think. I think it's I don't a think you beat up on the I think team. It's positive. I don't it's think like, hey, I we don't, didn't no. play great. We didn't play great. You're different I, than you're di- you win a lot. No, there's different ways to do it. I'm all about tough coaching, and, and I know, but that's what I mean. I think that he probably addressed the team a certain way. Like which could have been upbeat, positive. Hey, we're keep grinding, keep grinding. <laughs> and then, go and to then those he pulled two, over McCormick is... and said, "Listen, I need you to reach down, <laughs> <laughs> reach down, see if they're there." Right, the Goggins <laughs> thing that he <laughs> says, and let's go. Hey. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I think because that first dunk was like, "Hey, you want to question how tough I am, Coach? Watch this." And he absolutely brought the house down. And then he played tough the whole second half. And they came back and they won. No. By three how instead does, of by four. How does, I mean, how does North Carolina, they're up 15. They're up by mm-hmm. 16, I think, it, I read at some point in the second no, the, half. The beginning of the first half, I mean, the, Kansas closed the gap so fast. They closed it within like eight minutes. So it was a game of runs, right? Because Kansas was up like 7 nothing, yeah, and, and, and then, you know, obviously down going to the well, half, and, and then they're finishing it out. It's UNC a game of doesn't runs. have a lot of subs, and Kansas just cranked the tempo. In the beginning of the first half, it was like this, right back and forth, and Kansas was like, "You want to, you want to dance? Like we're gonna See, go fast." That's where those, you know, those blue chip, the the, the blue bloods. Yeah, you know, well, that's where their bench is well, ten so deep. deep, ten deep. Kansas was just and running then you them have out other there. teams that are maybe on the cusp, sixteen or whatever, yep. that just can't. UNC run with really only time. has six guys. UNC, Kansas, really? Yeah, I mean. They, they they probably have more, but they really only have six guys where 
where Kansas was fully loaded, mm-hmm. and they they absolutely pushed the tempo in the second half. It was a good game to watch. I'm surprised you didn't watch it. it it's, it's I almost life. called you it's, to, it's, it's to see if you want to get a beer. I did life. My, it's life. Yeah, it's, I, was, I know. It's life. life. I mean, you're watching like yellow. We had we stuff. had a birthday party on Sunday uh, for my daughter, which is no excuse. But I was just so tired, and I was just like, yeah. laying in bed. I was just out. Okay. Um, I did my taxes. Plus, last I night. mean, if I mean, if it, you know, college basketball. I like college basketball. Yeah. I love the tournament. Oh, but it's a watching. nine twenty start. Yeah, it's a late game. Yeah, I'm not. I, I don't stay late up late game. in the first place. And then when you show me something on TV Guide or the sports section, and it says nine twenty start, mm-hmm. it's almost like, well, fuck, am I going to wa- start watching this? If I get interested, I'm going to be miserable the yep. next day because I'm tired. So I just sort of watch a little Yellowstone huh. and <laughs> fade it off. Yeah, fade it off into into Never Neverland. There um, you go. I did do my taxes Kansas, last night. Kansas, with, uh, your national champions. Kansas. And tip lost. That's, I did. That's probably the most important takeaway from that. More importantly, taxes last night <laughs> oh, my accountant. I'm sorry. <laughs> John Raynone. Great accountant. Um, love the guy. Oh. Just usually there's a brief moment where I always want to punch him right in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> then last night, never one. Ne- John's my guy. Golf, all of it. Oh. And then there's that one moment in time oh, where he God. rattles out the number, <laughs> and I want to like reach across the desk and be it's like, so, "It's so figure bad. Figure it out. It's so bad. Figure it it's out. It's so bad." And yeah. then like this month too. So you you got your monthly monthly expenses. I told right? I told you. I blind, <laughs> blind. <laughs> <that> go, <laughs> dude. Blind. I would trade bills with you this month. How was Blind. it? Was it? Oh my god! And then you throw the tax in oh, after that. And John's like, "When do you want the? You know, it's like auto withdrawal yeah. on these things. It's like, <laughs> when do you want that to hit? I was like, "Never." <laughs> like, <laughs> when can we have it hit? And he's like, "Well, you just do it." You know, and I'm like, "Schedule for next week." <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. No, it's a bad yeah. day. Oh my I god! Have like, not geez, done that. That hurt so bad, and I just, I just hate it. But you know, whatever. It's. It's what it's we it's um we get to live in this country. I I right agree. No problem. Gotta pay Uncle Sam. I don't like paying it. Hate it. Hate don't like paying. It. I'm not. But a big I understand guy. why we pay it. I just wish it was used more. I maybe maybe more properly. Here's what I if wish. I'm going to pay in Max. Would you agree with that? Oh yeah. It just Max, maybe like maybe a taxes? little bit. A little bit. A little bit. Better. I love doing taxes. Yeah. Well, in in yeah. I mean, you're going to be you know. You're going to be in a coming different up, tax it's gonna bracket. Not, yeah, I was going to say, coming up is going to suck a lot more. It's going to really suck. Yeah, it's going to really suck for you. Now you gotta, you um, want it to be zero, correct? Right, Max? If you can make it be zero, you then your zero. accounting is an is – an, And now, John, for a little while, was we were running on the, like, good clip. And that's why the last few years have been like, this is – am I going to want to fight you tonight or not? No. I do bring him a bottle of uh, – so for years, I brought him Maker's Mark – as my like, hey, here, here's a bottle of Maker's oh, Mark yeah, you, for you. And he, he doesn't drink. He doesn't drink Maker's Mark. It's fine. Just, so, that's just shove it all, right up his ass all, one like, more time. In his, in yeah. his like bar. What about? I did bring him a bottle of Grey Goose. Does he stuff. charge you? Well, I mean, like, yeah, uh, technically, uh, technically, a little bit. I'll say yes. You get a little help. I'll say no and yes. Depends. I don't on, know how it I can depends answer. on if you get a refund or not. I don't know how I can no. answer the question. I got you. All right, taxes suck. Absolutely. Yeah. It's not um, fun. You just want to go Masters? Or um, do you have anything I, else on your big brain? I know. I do want to go Masters. Right. Um, I was trying to think of something funny, Max, like kind of my things of like uh, the can saw thing and the, you know, rule hear ye, of hear thumb. Ye. And hear ye, hear ye. Did you got another one? I, no, I, I, no one has said anything in the last week that's been like, oh, why, where, did, where does that come from? We need some listeners to send some of those in. We'll figure it out. We'll tell you what we think about it, too. Always. Okay what we do okay so tax season we're through that um masters okay this is our favorite week we have determined last two years now i think hanging out that this is our favorite week it's now remember one year it was in november correct so we this will be our actually our third masters together third masters together okay. and I, I, um, I don't know if i've won one yet i think i'm, I'm over two in in what no, we do in what we do um are we gonna watch this on friday at your house or something? Yeah, sounds good to me. Okay, all right. <laughs> okay, just maybe, want to make sure we get maybe, that on the Maybe we go to Narragansett. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go to the other house. I like that idea. All right, so um, 
for the listeners, here's the good part, listeners. If you want to follow a couple sharp betters, you know, like that's definitely us. This episode comes out at 4 a.m. on Thursday, correct, Max? Correct. 4 a.m. Thursday. First tee times, I think, are 7.10, 7.20. So you can still get your bets in. And if you listen oh, to yeah, picks, yes. there you go. Right? That comes just, out Thursday. Yep, yeah, absolutely. And now I'm also in a in a Calcutta tonight. Can you Google what a Calcutta is? Calcutta is a mass. <laughs> a, it's, it's, it's a like mass a, exodus. Yeah, it's a mass. Like a betting for the masses yep. where you're actually bidding. Right. right. So a, a bunch of um, people I golf with. What's the definition? We have Max? a big Calcutta. Here's how the USGA defines it. <clears throat> a Calcutta look at, look at the, is oh, oh, just yeah. yeah. Look at you. Is a auction sweepstake. <clears throat> excuse me. Is a form of gambling or wagering in which the players or teams are sold by auction beforehand to the highest bidder. Okay. So I, literally, I'm going to a, I'm going somewhere where there's a lot higher bidders than me. And you just pay taxes. And, and I just bills. pay taxes <laughs> and bills. <laughs> I don't know where this <laughs> money's going to come <laughs> from. The wallet isn't as isn't as stacked Hennessey. anymore. Oh, Hennessy, he's a listener. I texted Hennessy and I said, um, he's, "I'm like, what time?" He's like six ish, and I said, "I'm coming in kind of light on cash." <laughs> <laughs> can you? Can I borrow something? Yeah. yeah. Um, all right. So, so I'm you, in a big Calcutta uh, tonight. So I'll put those right, picks so, out too. Who are you? I know. I know. I know one that you're just absolutely. Oh, let, or we'll get there. Let's right. let's do our picks first, and I'll so, tell you who I'm gonna I'm gonna attack you in do, the bid tonight. Okay. Okay. You want right. to cover our picks? Let's just cover the picks. Let's talk about Tiger first. That's what I was gonna say. Let's cover Tiger first. Sure. Okay. So he's playing. Obviously, he feels. Well enough to play. He has not announced that he's playing. I'm sure he, he's going to he, do that he, probably today. He has. Actually. Oh, did he do it today? He has. That's the plan. I missed it. You were in a meeting. Oh, what happened? What he said. Um, uh, his plan is to play. Yep. Feels, feels good enough to play. He'd have to wake up feeling like shit. To, uh, and Thursday. I did. I mean, one of the uh, interview questions was, "Hey, you've always said if you're in a tournament, you're there to win." Mm -hmm. He said, "Yes." And he said, okay, with that, do you feel like you can win the Masters? He said, I do. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Where'd you watch the interview? Was it just It on? was just now. Oh, they just had it. Was so he, Ooh, I like the that. words I do on him winning came out of his mouth. Yeah, that's interesting. And then we had, He's he 40 played. to one, I think, right now. He played, so. he played uh, practice round with Justin Thomas and couples. Oh, Freddie. he always plays with couples. All right. I and, saw a couples interview yesterday. Yeah. That was but, like, but, but what do you think Couples is going to say at that point? Like, if you ask, like, "Hey, how do he look?" He's, he's like, he looks shitty. No, he's like, do you and, think he's not going to say he doesn't look incredible? Couples is in his circle anyway, right. so he's never going to say too much, and he's not going to say like he's not going to say too much. Yep. you know, he's not going to say anything that Tiger would be like, "Why'd you say that?" You right. know, I agree. So he just said he was bombing. A, a, yeah, a lot of fluff. A lot, a lot of fluff. A lot of fluff. A lot of fluff from Couples, who I love. Yep. I do too. But. Can uh, he tempo, win? Tempo can, Town. Can he win? I mean, Tempo Town. Couples. We've talked. T Tiger is amazing. I Moves mean, a just. I mean, the fact that he's playing absolutely five times, mm -hmm. champion, and that he's coming back after what is it, seventeen months or something like that from not the even car. that long. Not even that long. I don't think it was February of twenty one. Oh, or maybe it January. is. Maybe it is that long. Somewhere yeah. around there. Sure. You know, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen months after that accident, Crazy. And, and the big. I mean. Saying they almost lost his leg, which is crazy. When he has a, it's remember just, too, he has a fused and broken back, and he was in a severe car accident. Five, Don't even think about his leg. Five back surgeries, right? Um, the I fact my back, lift up. I mean, he said he's like hitting the ball isn't the problem. It's not the problem. He it's feels the, good it's about the walk. It's the walk, which is wild. And think. if you've never been there, right? No, but it's I crazy not, undulations. Yeah, I right? have not been there as well. I've got yeah. buddies that have been there for the practice round or early start mm -hmm. of it, and just you can't tell on TV yep. the undulation, the change in yep. elevation in the hills. And Tiger said it today in his interview. He's like, it's a hard course to walk Yeah, if you're well, plus it's if, just if you don't have an accident or you don't have a rod in your goddamn yeah. leg, yeah. you know? Yeah. So can he – can he maintain it? Can he, can he, Is his stamina probably not there? Right. But he's always one of those guys that just – he's so competitive – Mm -hmm. and he's overcome a lot of a lot of shit. Yeah. Where just like, do you bet against him? I don't bet against him. I think he makes a cut. No, no. Because um, it's one of those places too, like your boy, Leishman. Well. Like, yeah. it's like you have to know where to hit it, or more importantly, yeah. where you can't hit it. 
I'm surprised Leishman can make that walk. <laughs> no big, big boy. Big, big yeah. Lowry, yeah. chugging beers. It's funny the guys that I picked were getting there. Um, I, the other thing that is kind of interesting about Tiger is he's wearing the foot choice. Oh, he is? He's wearing foot choice, and you would think that Nike would be like, hey, we'll make any shoe for you. I guess it's a comfort thing and an injury thing, and it's like, Come on now. I mean, Wait, I wonder. I mean, how do you know? I wonder what f- f- foot joys is he wearing because I don't know what uh, the hell it is. Like my heel, like I just some shoes, mm-hmm. golf shoes in particular, they don't fit my foot, mm-hmm. and they blisters. Yeah, like you buy bleeding. a lot of different golf shoes. You're a big golf. I don't shoe buy guy. no, not anymore. It took me a while to find it. Like find which one. You're always fit. showing it's me a, a golf shoe, and then I haven't all bought of a, sudden a golf you shoe it. in a shoe in a year. Well, it's been winter. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have three new hey, pairs this after year. pay and all that shit. It's yeah. just fantastic. Yeah, after pay. I wish I could after pay my taxes. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> can, a, we, can we do this in installments? Right. Um, so let's go through our picks. Let's go. So for the for the primers, um, we took three tiers of golfer. Okay, so top of tier, odds, yeah. middle tier, bottom tier of odds. We won't even give you the odds. We don't. No, need it doesn't to. matter. Just go um, one. To, what yeah. was it? One to four thousand. Yeah, one to four, five to twenty, and then twenty to yeah. whatever. Right, All like right. in terms of odds. So um, we're picking two in the top tier, each, one in the middle tier, and one in the bottom tier. Um, that way, we have a, a spread. We're not just taking all the top guys. And now the other part is we're taking our best scores from three. So we have the ability that a guy doesn't make the cut. If you have two that don't make the cut, then your scores are 80 that day. Yes. We're going to take 80 as the score. So, And it's, it's lowest it's, wins, you, lowest combined yeah, you, score wins. You, you need people to make the cut. Yeah, so if you had three guys that were three under, right? That's another not, guy that was didn't make the cut, you'd be nine team. under. Yes. Yep. Three out of four. Three out of four. And it it doesn't have to be one for it can't, it can't be one from each. Nope. It's okay. just three. All right. Three of them. Okay. Max wrote down the rules. Max okay. wrote down the rules. So we're going to go bottom tier first. Do you want to do bottom tier first? Sure. Okay. So lowest tier. So the lowest odds first in terms of worst odds. Yep. You want me to go? Yes. My lowest odds bucket person is Harry Higgs. Harry Higgs. I have a theme of my picks this year. Harry Higgs, a big boy. You're going all big boys? He's a big boy. He's He's going big boy like you? He's going big boy. (laughs) He's a big boy. He's going to have a tough walk, but he can move it, and he's carefree. Very carefree guy. That's why I'm taking him. So Harry Higgs is my bottom tier pick. Okay. I'm going Mackenzie Hughes. Don't don't know a lot about him. I do know he's... wanted the name? Nope. I don't care about the name. (laughs) He has not missed a cut this season. Oh, you're, so you're going based I on believe just legit. You actually looked up ball, some stats on this. Ball striker. Well, I, in, there's another pool that I'm in with mm-hmm. that Juana, Juana Moisa. Yep. So it's sort of, hey, top tens, cuts, yep. all that stuff. You take, you take um, three to four golfers mm-hmm. from different tiers. And I don't know how they break up the tiers. It's okay. that majors pool type thing, yep. the easy yep. office thing. Yep. So, um I'm going to go Mackenzie Hughes. Okay, Mackenzie Hughes. Um, I hundred dollar bet again, by the way. Of course, I'm up plus one hundred right now. By the way, on this, from, no, from trivia. Yes, correct. But I think overall, I think that evened us out. I was down hundred. Yeah, I'm going to just believe you on that. We're going to go with it. So we're oh, dead even right now. I believe so. Okay. Um, I still haven't done the uh, drum class yet. By the way, from losing the uh, Peloton. She, yeah, when she. Uh, oh, when we get it going when again. She does another one. Okay, yeah. all right. I want to do the. I'll pound do it class. with you. I'll What's it called? I'll do pound, 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 pound class. I'll do it right. with you. It's going to be awful. Oh, oh, my back. It's going to right your too. hip. <laughs> my hip needs to release. Right now, my hip is like screaming at me. My SI joint, my chiro- my chiropractor shut down because he wouldn't get a COVID shot, so he's gone. And, like, he was a, the witch doctor, I called him. I, I never met I him. I need him back. You need kept him back. saying that you're going to hook me up. You never never did anything. He wouldn't take new clients. I almost got you there. I filled out a left. test. I, did, I took a yeah. test. Uh, we got to work on getting a new person. So any primers out there that have a good person, literally probably within 100 miles of me, mm-hmm. I'll find them. Okay. And I'll go see them because um, my hip is not releasing well All right, right now. mid-tier. Uh, okay, mid-tier. Russell Henley. You're taking some interesting folks. 
You're taking all the ball skinny striker. guys. He's a ball striker. You love ball strikers. Ball striker. It's a big sec- ball striker. It's a second guy. shot course. This guy can hit second shots. Okay, so you're going. Okay, you're taking interesting picks though. Not guys that I would have thought that you were going to take. Thank you. Taking ball strikers. Okay, uh, my second tier person is Mark Leishman. Oh, of course. There's, he's, 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 your, he's your god. At, I think at he's Augusta. just he's just. And you're uh, going to say he knows the course well. He always knows plays the course, there. He's going to make even the cut. Even guy, yeah. like. Really good chance to make the cut. Also, a really good chance to maybe be like a leader after day one. That's I, like a, I feel like he should be in the top tier, but he's not, huh? Leader uh, after I, day you know one what? type I, guy. Yeah, I saw that because so I knew you were going to take him. I'm also tilting the scales right now in my first two picks. Probably I, probably plus five hundred, five hundred pounds. You got a couple big boys. All right. <laughs> okay. Are we going to tier one? Yeah. Oh, we're already moving to tier one. Okay, I wrote down some other bets too. By the way, what do you, you want me to go first? Yeah, snake well, draft. Do you just want to? I mean, okay. I, so I, I got I Higgs, Higgs Leishman. I'm also going to take, and I think this is the winner this year, Max. Rory McIlroy. Really? I do. Why? It's his time. I mean, it's been his time for like I know eight years. But I'm I'm finally I'm in the camp of I'd love to see him win. You want to see him round out the uh, yep. Grand Slam? I want to see him round it out, and I just want to see him get the monkey, the major monkey off his back and go on a run. He's still in his prime. People think that he doesn't want to compete. I know that he does. I can tell that he does. This is his time. <laughs> I know that he does. I've had personal conversations I, with him. No, I've just watched enough Instagram of him and like some stuff where I'm like, he still wants to win. He wants this one. It's his time. He's playing well. He's a tailor-made guy like me. <laughs> it's his time. Okay, I'm gonna go Justin Thomas. Okay, so you're taking the the well, not the odds-on favorite. But I think the guy that everybody no, thinks no, he more. isn't the odds-on favorite. And I'm gonna do this. Yep. I'm gonna take him because one, why not take the take the guy, take yeah, the guys with you. the best odds. I yep. want to win the bet. Yep. But he's in that Tiger camp now. Oh yeah, he's in the Tiger camp, and he's getting the info from Tiger probably. Right. Yeah. Walking the course with him, mm-hmm. talking to him, you know. Um, I mean, and Tiger's out of it. Second, he's going to be rooting for him. He's going to be helping him. And, and think there's nothing he can't do with a golf ball. There's not no, a no, shot he great. can't do it. So yeah. I'm, I'm going Justin Thomas. Okay. All right. You're taking Thomas. So we're back to me for my other my other top pick, Brooks Kepka. I knew you were going to do that. I'll take Ron. So that's what we're doing. Okay. All right. I like it so, that we got four different guys. Yeah. Four um, different. There's no, there was, I would have bet my left nut mm-hmm. that it was going to be Leishman and Kepka on your two other. Four. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's, I mean, so Kepka, uh, he, I mean, we've had this conversation. He's one of my um, man crushes. Oh, yeah. Big time. Where okay. I like the way he plays golf because he doesn't Big care. Time. I know some people think that he's like, damn, but like, he's, that's not cool anymore because he was just absolutely boring boring to watch and didn't have any personality when he won the first couple majors remember people were like who is this guy now he can now he talks a lot of shit he's got his hair dyed, dyed i actually uh, kind of liked him better shady. i kind of liked him better when he didn't when he talk quiet. shit when he yeah. just went out and did his job yeah well he hasn't since he started talking shit he's been kind of quiet he ha- I, I agree i mean that whole dechambeau fiasco yep. drove me through the wall i yep. So it couldn't stand it since all that stuff is he been has going not on, talked as much and I, right. I agree so he's sort of and he's playing okay back. and now and he's a major guy yep he, and he only gets up four times a year <laughs> four times a year make eight million bucks and yep. he gets he gets and fired up for four times a year this is it this is his time I don't think he's gonna win though I do think that McElroy this is his time but if I'm gonna root for anybody if I'm gonna give the emotional vote for someone. It's gonna it's gonna be for Kepka. Okay. Now you're taking Rom. I'm taking Rom. He's top ten the last four years. Yep. Knows the course. Mm-hmm. The only thing I'm worried about putt. Can he putt? Okay. He's a little 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 little, uh, yep. little iffy on his putter lately. If he can putt. Yeah. He's okay. in it. So, but I think Thomas wins it. Okay. So Thomas is your pick that you think that you're, that he's gonna win. Okay. And I think I win this bet, and that's all that matters. Uh, that is true. Um, I will say I was having a, a conversation with my father-in-law the other day, and I was laughing because my second daughter, Ellie, was born on Master's Sunday when Justin Spieth was having his collapse. 
Oh, yeah. And literally, we're in the delivery room. We go to the delivery room. There's a TV right there. And I'm you like, actually look disappointed right now <laughs> that you were going to the delivery room. I'm just <laughs> telling you. This is a great story. So we go to the delivery room and we get this awesome room. Like the first time it was like, and the second time it was like, great room. You know, there's like, it's, it's not like ready to go time yet, but it's like, you got time for sure. Plenty of time. <laughs> And there's like a big TV up in the corner, and I'm like, "Geez, I'd love to." <laughs> it was probably like four o'clock on Sunday. Oh, it was man. like four o'clock on Sunday. Right so get, like we're right, literally get, like getting to the golden oh, hour we're in the back nine. Yeah. Like it's beautiful. <laughs> and I've got friends texting me like, "Oh, you know, I'm in all the group texts, and it's like, oh god, like oh, I can't believe this." And I'm like, "What the? Fuck? Like, <laughs> do you think I remember being like?" Do you think we could turn on the? And it was like no. <laughs> I got <heard> up <of> this. <laughs> and then she still was aboard to like earlier in the morning, but I was oh. just like, geez, like, boy, I really missed a good one. <laughs> so oh. I'll always, I'll always have that, uh, that in my head, in my, do in my, in her do birthday. Do you think we can? No, no, absolutely. It was a quick. No. Did she knew? It was like it was just itching, or you kept looking at the phone. Well, I think the remote was like right there, and I was like, the TV's right there. I know there's a collapse going on. I'm getting 55 text messages. Oh. I'm sending like, I didn't like, you know, we kind of were this way with both both girls, but it was like we didn't really tell everybody that it was like happening right then. Just that way, you're not getting like all kinds of crazy messages like from everybody. Yeah, you know, so I'm still getting bombarded by texts like, "Are you seeing this?" You know, and I'm like, "No." Nope. <laughs> <laughs> nope, I'm absolutely not. So, oh, yeah, that's that, um, that's a, a good master's uh, a story from 2016. Uh, that's 16 awesome. Because he won in, in 15, I think, right? And then he blew it. Yeah, like he was going to go back yeah, to back. He, he had the five-stroke oh, lead. Oh, my God. Yeah. What's well, your favorite no, that's hole? W- no, that's when he put it on, t- on 12, right? That's 12, when he yeah. hit, chipped it in it's the for water. S- for a seven. Yeah. Like, remember, he like took he went a seven twice. on that hole, instead lost of four going, strokes. Instead of going back to the tee, right. he went to the drop area, which dunked is probably it. a bad move. Yeah, and then dunked Just it. hit a normal shot from the yep. tee, and you're... Yep. Yeah. So so uh, that's my that's the, that's a good master's choice from that year. Um, you haven't been. I haven't been. I know some people have been. Mm-hmm. So it's amazing. Do you have any... Do you have any interest to go one year as a patron? I do, but not yep. for the tournament itself. Wednesday. For a practice round. Just for a practice round. That way you get a little bit more space to walk around. And actually, I don't necessarily care about the round being played as I do well, seeing Just walk the in the property. Sure. Be able to get yep. to as many spots as you can. Because my I like to go to games and, and sporting events, I think, more than you. You're, yeah, but yes. at the same time... Yeah. There's plenty of them that I want to go and I want to sit on the couch. There's a most of them are that way for me. Just I, because I think I I'm in the like, same. Okay, camp. take last night for example. You're down in the Superdome, right? There's seventy five thousand. Oh no, people. I'm watching that on TV. There's seventy five thousand people there. Yeah, what, you're up in the rafters. You're watching a basketball game. Yeah, you, you can't see. You unless really you're have on a the great. Court I mean, there. yeah, you can see little dots running yeah, around and no. shit. But do you actually like see the game? I mean, I didn't even see it on TV, but I was much rather. Yeah, be asleep than you know. There. I hear you. I hear you on that. Um, there's not a better nap in the in the year than a small little snooze on like Saturday when you're watching the Masters. God, naps. I mean, it's not often I take a nap, so it doesn't matter when it happens. Yeah, but one thousand percent. Like yes. you just, it's just like here's what I like. Right, you can leave the back door open because it's maybe a nice enough day at home. Right, so you got the screen door open. There's a little breeze outside coming in. It's like three thirty max, three o'clock, you know. But you're, it's just chilly enough that you're inside and you throw a blanket on, you know, like laying yeah. on the couch or your chair, and then you just nod off for two, three holes. How much do you want to go outside though and swing the club though? Oh, when the Masters are on, I always think I always feel like I'm amazing during that time. I'm like, I can hit that shot. I'm ready, <laughs> yeah. you know. And then I then like my hip feels like it's going to release and <laughs> I don't well, feel well. The, t- the 2022 season has started for us. It has. Um, we did have, have a mat session on Sunday. We did. We got the rap which soda, work. which is the rap soda. Thank you, yeah, Hut. It's from Hut. We got to bring Hut on probably in the next couple of weeks too. Talk a little golf. Um, what's your favorite hole at Augusta? I think 12. To watch. 12. 12. It's got to 12. 12 yeah, is the okay, par 12, three yeah. with the, uh, yep. the azaleas in the background. Um, Long, skinny green where you're just. I'm thinking. Hard, hard, hard shot. I like. I like the. I know everybody's an amen corner person, but I like 
15, 16. So 15 is the par five where they bomb it onto the green over the water. Mm -hmm. And then 16, the the par three that on Sunday is like a really good chance at a hole in one. Yeah. Right. With that little like shoot, yeah, yeah. tiger chipped in on that one where it just leaked on in. the back. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I did write that down. Uh, there were a couple other bets that I'm going to take on the Rhode Island sports book. I guess that's a plug um, for uh, gambling. I don't think they need a plug. No, they don't. <laughs> They're going to get a fully loaded account here coming up tonight. Um, most popular hole to have a hole in one is number 16, and it is on Sunday. Yep. Because it's a hole in one position. Um, what are the odds for, or are you going to take Tiger to make the cut? No. Oh, really? You, you don't think he's going to make the cut? Oh, I don't know if I'm going to bet. I haven't gotten back into betting yet. Would you like Would you bet. bet on Tiger to make the cut? Yes. Okay, me too. I am going to take that bet. Yep. And then my other bet that I'm going to take is the winning margin. Usually, I think they have no, five. No, you want chaos. You, have, want, you want chaos. I think want they chaos. have one, two, three, four, five. What are, what are the strokes? I said two strokes. I like two. Somebody's going to win by two strokes. That's plus 400. Okay. I'm going to take that. For, for I'm gonna take that. Yeah, I'm gonna take that because now the reason that plus uh, minus one is more common is because when people have a two shot lead going into the final hole, they're gonna go. For they it. play no, they play that hole safe. The 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 guy that, the person oh, in the have lead, a two shot. Yeah, if yeah. they have a two shot lead, yeah, they're gonna play. They usually safe. bogey that hole. Like think about Tiger when he went, you know, he, you just shove oh, it over okay, the right, yeah, you chip yeah. a bond, yep. two putt, you win, right? Like that's the way that a lot of people play that. So um, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna go with two strokes uh, is plus four hundred. I'm gonna take that bet. Okay, I like any, it. Any other like bets it. that you want? Any other any other things it, that you want to cover? I wonder. It, it, are the woods is woods even a bet yet? Kind of like Baycock last night. Like, is he in the prop bet? Oh yeah, it was on. Is there. he up there? Yeah, it was. It was if he makes a cut or not. Okay. That was on. There That's was a true. couple others. Yeah, he's he's there because he's ten, he's in the field. Technically, like he would pull out and you'd get your bets back if you bet on him. Correct. Um, Max, do you know what we're talking about, first of all? Golf? Yes. Just generally. <laughs> generally. He looks like he's got golf pants. Yeah, golf very shorts golfed on. out today. Very pastel. Very oh, Easter yeah. today. Springy. Um, do you know, are you rooting for any particular golfers at all? To be honest with you, I didn't even know who the guy, that your number one guy is. Hmm. I, I, wouldn't have thought that. I wouldn't have thought so. Okay. Okay, so we can't include Max in this. Do we call McKellar on this? I think we get some pictures. <laughs> yeah, why not? Might as well. I will send him a I'd message. I'd pick with my heart. Yeah, you, you'd take Tiger. What about Zalatoris? He was... He gained any weight? Or is he still probably like a not. stick? He's probably like your thigh. <laughs> probably is. It's probably just, just the weight that's around the midsection right now is like a person. Like that's him. Yeah. You and I combined, it's like a big person. Oh, God. Just... <laughs> I need to get in shape. Yeah, we need to because my so swing also, we talked about our golf game. That, all right, so can I tell this one? All right, so yeah. we're, we're out on the uh, we're on the mat on Sunday. And tip's a little bit bigger nowadays. Would you agree with that, Max? Ten pounds. I, I wouldn't disagree. I don't think it's, I think it's more than ten. It's ten. What would your doctor say? Well, he had a lot of things to say to me. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> um, so we're out there, and tip is sort of like he, he was lean before. He had, he's got a good swing. Yeah. Very good golfer. Um, I think I play better with him because I, ele- I elevate your game. You do. And, and you're willing yep. to share tips <laughs> and pointers, whatever you see. Well, I mean, uh, that's very nice of you. you got I noticed on Sunday, though, your follow through yeah. is nowhere close to where it was. And I don't think it was like uh, you were getting my thing, the fat man back slap, where you just pull that club over the top and like hit it, <laughs> or, or you don't even get it up there. I so you stop. What that is. I don't know your turn. No, I think I think it's my hip. I think it's my SI when did you, joint. When did you hurt your hip? Well, it's been hurt for like six months. <laughs> but but I haven't been to my chiropractor in like six or eight months. And normally I go there once every couple of weeks, and I can tell that I'm not. There's a there's something in my right hip that's locked right now. And he said, you know, with the wear and tear on you as a professional athlete, like I have been. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm laughing because like football player, it's a little different. But oh, he same, said same my right hip is 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 my issue, All right. and it's from pitching. It's from, like push you know off the mound and like the turn and like the force. And what happens? is It gets out of whack pretty bad. You know what you need to do? Starts going. You down know what you there. need? I'm gonna plug it. TB12. Go up there. 
so they will is, freaking okay. So I did want to get into this. This, is this will awesome. be our last topic, yeah. but um, I need I need somebody. I don't care if it's my Morgan. wife, if myself. I was. I, I need I, somebody I, to just be able to do what my chiropractor did, which is lay me on my side, put the weight down into my hip, and it just releases, and I can literally feel it in twenty seconds. Now, well, I don't. They don't necessarily do that. So I went I with Paxton last week. Mm-hmm. Paxson, great uh, re, friend, re, re, uh, repost, by the friend way. Friend of the show. Yep. He calls me a week before, um, hey, I'm coming into town for Matt Light's charity uh, uh, Fool's Night Out. What was the, oh, was it a comedy show? It was a comedy thing? show right before yep. April yep. Fool's. Yep. So he's like, okay, I'm going to TB12 on Tuesday for a workout. Just for fun? He was going? Going for a workout. Yep. And he's probably doing content and filming. Did you guys um, put a call in before that? Or was this like, did. was this a paid he, thing? He did. Okay. He said, and he's okay. like, hey, if you want to join me, come on, come along. Yep. So, Max, I think I'm going for a workout. Like, <laughs> yeah. like yeah, a literal like, yeah. workout. Like, we're yeah. going to, like, do, like, like, lunges or whatever. It's not like a full gym, oh, but I feel like we're going to. makes me nauseous thinking about I that. I feel like we're going to work out. So, I'm, like, kind of excited. Yeah. There was no workout. It was just a no, lounge session. It was I mean, yeah, but it's like acupuncture. Yep. Never so, did that before. Mm-hmm. Crazy. And I, then I don't even understand how it works. And you then, told me actually, you were helpful to tell me how it works. Where it's the multiple locations on the muscle makes it relax, correct? Which makes it stretch more. So my, right? I so my my ailment mm-hmm. is like a left shoulder yep. from surgeries, and yep. shit. And then my left side of my back. I don't know if it's a sciatica or something back there. No, it's your SI joint. Whatever like it me. is. So yeah. it was like for the last two weeks, just killing me. Yep. So, hey, which spots do you want to do? Acupuncture. Never did it before. I'm like, okay, well, does that hurt when these needles go in or whatever? Because yep. I've done the dry needling, so I guess it's kind of the same mm-hmm. thing. So it feels like you sort of your 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 muscle, wherever they get into, sort of uh, cramps up a little bit, tightens yep. up. So you feel that. It's like almost yeah. like getting a cramp, right? So it feels up. Well, it's getting stabbed. Yes. Right. And then you like, okay, deep enough, it's good. And then you mm-hmm. release it. So not only did they do that, then they throw electro stim on there. Yeah, so it's actually love, I love a nice, I love a nice electro stim. And they stim. heat it up. Yeah, my back and my shoulder have not felt better in years. Really? And then you go into, and then you get, the, then you get the like deep, still, it still feels still good. good. I want to go on the other other side now. Yeah. Um, I just want, so then I you go in. To do this then thing. I went in and they did the deep like tissue rub and like yep. trying to like work everything. Do they use one of those metal everything? those metal like plate things? Have you seen no, that? No, I've seen that. Where they it yeah. bruises the shit out of you. Like yeah. it, your whole I've like had, when they yeah. get done, it's yeah. like all the blood vessels are broken. Yeah, what the hell is that called? I don't it's know, like, but I have seen that. It's too. like a scrape. Yeah, they yeah. almost like like got beat with a they, bat. They, they like scrape it. No, but it's this like is a cold, like a uh, yeah, metal thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's not that. I mean, it was, oh, was that uh, Morgan. It's sculpting. Maybe, it, maybe it's sculpting. It might be. Um, Can they just move your fat around with that thing? They're That'd moving my fat around all the time. Yeah. So. <laughs> Morgan, who if you want, you can talk to him about your your yeah. your, your hip issue. Um, just in hard, in oh, yeah. like just deep into the, the body. Like it's like yep. if you go to a massage, mm-hmm. it's usually not very good. No, it's it's for me well, dep- for me for me. Like like when I used to get no, massage, need, it was more deep tissue. Hey, let's work out the soreness. Sport massage or deep tissue? Get, yeah, you can't just get a. Uh, but even the, when I say deep regular. tissue, it's like hey. No, you gotta. Do you feel it's like no? uh, You want the like the uh, where they really, you know, it's like the pressure point. Like they like push hard release or something like that. Yes, therapy, and they like lean into it, and then all of a sudden you do feel it release, and then they stretch it. They like push on it so hard. That's that is so. That's kind of the deal with that, and they'll find Mm -hmm. the points, and they. I mean, they 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 go after, and I've had Alex. Tommy's guy yep. do stuff before in the past, so I know what was going on. Mm-hmm. But I forgot how fucking sore you get. Oh yeah, for like three or four days afterwards, I'm actually still sore from it. Yeah. Like I could still feel where he's just like mm-hmm. you're, you know, moving your your leg up and down while he's like rubbing in your yep. thigh, and you're like my thigh tight. <laughs> Can't even touch my toes. So, oh, like he touched <laughs> it here. I'm just like jumping out of the, <laughs> jumping off the table. Yep. Like oh that hurts and hurts. But after a while. Yep. It sort of relaxes and it, mm-hmm. it, it, it's it's good. Yeah, no, I I would. And then it made me realize how much I need to do that shit. But there's no way I'm going to drive up there so that much. I know, but there, you know what there is, and this is there's a new place in East Greenwich. I'm not going to give any free ads right now because I number one just because I can't remember the name, <laughs> but um, I haven't been. That's not like you. <laughs> no, it's a stretch. It's a stretching place. 
I'm not doing that. No, no, no. I think you might want to. I don't think so. So all it's an assisted stretching place. Yeah, I don't. So you literally go in there and you lay on a, a training table essentially, mm-hmm. and it's like the old stretch. Like yeah, you ha- I mean, we used, this sure. is a, the regular trainer used to do this all the time. Yeah. Like you know, come out, get up a on the train with table, the band, yeah. yep, do all the stuff. But this is like full body, you get like an hour, and I just want them to just. just I, that's what I need. I need somebody to do it to me, because when I get down and stretch, I notice like. Whoa, I'm not flexible. I'm not going to do this anymore. Yeah, I hear. <laughs> you know, you know what I'm saying. I would and rather like, lift a thousand pounds and touch my toes. Absolutely, and I'd, I'd have a better chance at lifting a thousand pounds <laughs> yeah. and touch my toes for a while. It is. Yeah, it's. It, it, well, let's let's start. Go the hot yoga. I, I, I miss today because it's my me, daughter's birthday. That but. makes me. Um, that makes me like, like winded. Like I don't mean in like a fat way. I mean like in a like a nauseating way for some reason. It's it's miserable. You feel better <laughs> afterwards. I agree with I you one hundred percent. I get like if you do the hot yoga. If we, if you do hot yoga with me, I'll go stretch with you. Okay, man. We have to do. That. We can I make, really we can just lay on the table and make fun of how not flexible we both I know. are. What I really want to do is just have somebody. I need an Alex Guerrero. Is what I need. I need somebody that goes. This is what we're doing in the morning, at lunch. And in the and in the evening, and yeah. they also prepare my meals for me too. Sure, just and throw, then just throw that in there. <laughs> the, Why not? Oh, like we stretch in the morning, we do active release in the afternoon, we do uh, something else, and then find time to do your director of sales job. Yeah, no, that's, no, no that's problem. We, we'll just there bring them right in here. Who? I mean, how are you going to pay the taxes then? Uh, so it's, I don't know. We need to hit the lottery because right. uh, the taxes were not a fun thing this there year. There you go. So, All okay. right. All right. So Higgs, Leishman, McElroy, Kepka for me. Thomas, Rom, Henley, and Hughes. Okay, me. we'll see how it Happy turns Masters. out. Max will put up a Max is going to put up an Instagram post with our picks. All right, and then if you're if you're listening to this on Thursday morning, get ready. I'd put those picks in. Do Talk it. to you next time. Past our prime is brought to you by Squad Locker. Squad Locker is your one stop shop for custom team apparel delivered right to your front door. Learn more by visiting squadlocker.com.